Okay, so I grew up in an environment where I was a witness to abuse and almost, I think pretty much a victim as well. I think you don't need to bear the physical scars to bear the emotional scars that I, as a little girl, experienced and that my mother experienced. So this is something that's very close to my heart, something that I think is a serious epidemic in our country and something that I believe, because I have first-hand experience, should be the voice of. My name is Miss Cosmo. I am a 5FM radio DJ as well as a club DJ and I prominently play hip hop music. Hi, I'm Denise Simba. I am a presenter, actress, singer, dancer, songwriter and uh, trendsetter. Um, I'm definitely excited. What made me participate is seeing the last one on Instagram and feeling like, oh, I would love to play netball again, not just for playing sports, but for the competition, for spending time with girls and just being a girl and competing and jumping and um, that's my thing. That uh, my name is Managara Naka and I'm a television actress. I know of people who've been with uh, it's, it's, it's just hard for the most part because you'd hope that upon first impact the person has the power to leave, the person has the power to defend themselves, because I do believe in self-defense. I think we've all been affected by domestic violence, you know, directly and indirectly, and it's hard to give advice, um, especially if, I mean, people stay in relationships for different reasons, and um, it affects different people differently, so it would be hard to um, say, do this. But I think my best advice would be to maybe try and find a way to give the woman or to, to, to help them get their power back because that's when you realize when you do have power you're like okay I can walk away from the situation regardless of how many kids I might have with this partner regardless of um, what I might be getting from this relationship. Hello, I'm Ayanda Tabete. I'm a model as well as a businesswoman. So I joined this initiative because I really believe that it gives women back their power. I believe that each one of us was divinely orchestrated for a very unique purpose and um, it's really important for us to know who we are, to take back our power. I haven't really experienced um, abuse myself, but I've been around people who've experienced this tragedy and I believe that it does not belong in our society and it definitely does not belong to you. You are worthy to be loved you are special, you are divinely orchestrated and you should really take back your power and know who you are. Well, um, Tano told me about it um, a few months back when we first met and I thought it's a great initiative. I mean, anything that's for women, that's um, encouraging women and motivating women, I'm for because I'm a woman and I know most women's struggles. That's why I decided to be part of this. So, it's one thing just to have the day and to play netball. I thought, why not have a campaign leading up to the actual day where we will, for those weeks, speak about this pandemic and speak about or have our celebrities be the voice of it. So have, you know, the people we watch on TV every day also stand up against it. And these are my colleagues, these are my friends. And it's I'm honored to have them stand behind me with this one. So I thought for two weeks, let's just make it stop. Power especially for women, does not come in physical strength. And I think that's what I hope to um, teach or impart upon uh, women, that you have the power within you to stand up against abuse. You have the power within you to, to be the voice for not only yourself, but for others who may possibly be in the same shoes as you. I think uh, power to me personally means owning your own situation. Um, look, we go through a lot of things as women, you know. Uh, um, we've gotten this far, I assume, because we have owned our own situations, you know. Um, some may have been more scared than others to own their own situations, but uh, I think slowly but surely we're getting there. Oh, jeez. Power. Power is... Power is taking charge of who you are. Power is responsibility. Power is a choice. 
because by having power you're choosing to take that responsibility and make something of it um, having power doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing or a good thing it could be power in a great way you could um, affect change in a way that um, you might not know is possible for the for the person on the receiving end um, it could be negative as well if you take power for, for, for selfish reasons and for greed as well it is through this campaign that we are able to, in fact, make it stop. I'm hoping it is, in fact, um, through this campaign that we are able to maybe create a bit of a shock factor, a shock factor that will get people talking. And I was fortunate enough uh, to have a bunch of my friends who helped out to get this happening, five of them allowed us to use the studio. I got uh, one of the best photographers in South Africa, Leroy Jason, on board. Uh, of course, the ladies on board. I got Zach on board who helped put this video together. I got Zach on board who helped uh, put the creative for this images together. So it was it's it was a group effort, it was a team effort and I'm so grateful that it actually happened. It's something I wanted to do last year and never got to see happen. So I'm I'm beyond myself uh, with excitement. I expect it to be bigger. We have 5FM as our media sponsor. We have Candy and Co. We have Kotex. We have Who Am I Forgetting Lip Eyes um, and Spree.co.za. So amazing prizes to be given away. We've got ABI on board. We've got amazing celebrities that have agreed uh, to be part of this campaign. So I think with every year we expect it to be bigger and obviously not forgetting the reason we're doing this our, our beneficiary Bethany House. So we're hoping to raise a whole lot more funds. Entries are coming in quicker and faster. So I'm really, really excited.